Hey y'all, Sai here. Welcome to another episode of OPP, it's May. Come here, buddy. It's May 23rd already. It's crazy, it's going by fast. So, let's look and see what we have today for projects. What do you think, Wally? These first couple of projects are from Max Reed, and he made this ship's helm in Tarja for his son. And I don't have any other information about it. Well, some personal stuff, but um, anyway, he made it for his son and it looks so cool. I love it, Max. And then he also made this Intarja dog, which he is calling Tucker Blue. And it's named after his son's dog. He said he used blue pine and he stained it gray. And there's some walnut and ebony. And he's thinking about making more dogs like pets that he's had in the past, which I think is a really cool idea. So thanks for sharing those, Max. These next projects are from Daryl Wells, and they are all Judy Gale Roberts patterns. He says he uses mostly cedar, pine, wengi, did we ever decide how to say it? I think we did, but I can't remember, and poplar. He said it's the start of his African series. Well, he said the koala is from Australia, but anyway, it's the start of his his animal series. <laughs> so those are great, Daryl. Thanks for sharing them with us. This next Intarja project is from Claudio Nestor Rodriguez, and he has made Woody the Woodpecker. Thanks for sharing that, Claudio. This next project is from Jim Merrow, and this is also a Judy Gale Roberts pattern. He said for the Cardinal, he used aromatic cedar and western red cedar for the face and walnut for the eye. For the snow, he used aspen and he put Old Master's white gel finish on it, the pickling stuff. And for the pine cone, he used walnut, and for the backer, he used blue pine. And the branches are made from the greenest poplar he could find. Then he used a wonder wheel for the texturing of the pine cones and the branches. And it looks great, Jim. Thanks for sharing that with us. These next couple of projects are from Kurt Tuttle, and he has a couple of routered signs that he did. Well, all three of them have some routering in them, but this first one is a little routered angel, and he said he made it for his cousin who's having their first baby. And the second one is this patriot that he made for himself. And this third one is a flag, and he says it is 19 and a half inches wide and 36 inches long, and it's a half of an inch thick. He said the army vet is a stencil that he got from Steve Good, and the US Army and Stars is a stencil that he has had for a long time. He said he tried to match the green paint as much as he could to OD green, olive drab green, which is the army green, and I think he did a good job there. And he said he routered it with a Ryobi multi-tool. Interesting. So thanks for sharing those, Kurt. These next couple of projects are from Linda Wallace. First she made this clock, and she said it's made out of pine, and she's keeping this one for herself. But she is head of the game, and she made some Christmas presents early. And she said that all of these are made from pine and airbrushed with acrylic paints. And then she put a lacquer finish over the top. And I think they look great, Linda. The airbrushing is really cool. So thanks for sharing those with us. These next couple of projects are from Phil Gavin. And he made this flip table. It's from Fix This, Build That YouTube channel. You can see that he has one of his his planer up on top and then he flips it around and then he has another machine right there. So I really like that. That That's very handy. And then he also made these segmented dolphins. I don't have any more information about those. But then he also saw that his dad had a number five jack plane that was in pretty bad shape. So he restored it for his dad, sharpened it, cleaned it up, and that's pretty cool. And he said his dad is really happy about it. So thanks for sharing those, Phil. These last projects are from Teresa, my cousin's wife down in Texas. First, we have this colored pencil drawing of a lioness. Like, whoa. And then this last drawing that she just completed is Corbett. And she has done Corbett on sanded art paper with powdered blender, which is all Greek to me. But for you colored pencil artists out there, I think you know what that is. So thanks for sharing those with us, Teresa. They're awesome, like always. 
that concludes this month's episode of OPP. Yay! Thanks everybody that sent me something to share. It was so fun to see what you've made and fun to share it. If you have a project that you'd like me to share on OPP, just send me an email and put OPP in the headline. I sure say OPP a lot. Other people's projects. So everybody enjoy the rest of this month and we'll see you next month for another OPP, God willing. Bye! Uh.